Now, a few years ago, you recommended Supercop to the world at large, and I loved it, so thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. For 2015, do you have any hidden gem films that you can recommend that you think not enough people have seen? A film that I really liked uh, that came out in the last year, and I don't know if it's come out in England yet, but it was a, a, a really clever horror film that came out in America called It Follows. And it, uh, have you did it play out here? Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan. Did you see it? I haven't yet. Yeah, it's 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 really good. However, one of the problems with a, with the film to some degree is the fact that uh, people um, uh, want to tell the story. Mm. All right, in order to get people to go see it, I actually think this movie has one of the best exposition scenes that I've seen in. Frankly, maybe ever. I mean, I actually think it's one of the best exposition scenes. But for the movie to truly, truly work, you need to go in not knowing what it's about. And you need to be watching it going, what the bloody hell is going on? And then the exposition scene explains it. And I, that's the best way to view the movie. When are we going to see the Quentin Tarantino novel? I would like to think before I start stop making films. I would... Uh, 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 I'll finish writing uh, uh, this one novel that I'm working on. It might have to be on the other end of the making films thing. However, one of the things that I do, actually, in between movies, um, it's kind of how I get in touch with my writing again, get in touch with my talent, get in touch with working, is I work on a, a, a fiction story novel and I work on uh, film books that I'm working on. I'm in no hurry to finish any of them up. But I, I, I get them a little further in between each movie. And and the thing about it, but, but the thing is, as opposed to screenwriting, I like the writing I do in this stuff, but it's a little harder. Sure. All right, and for me, because it's not the way I normally write. So consequently, after working on that for a while, I get finally frustrated with it. And then I start to write a script, and by comparison, it's so easy. <laughs> so what's your film book currently? I have a couple different ones. I've got one on um, uh, films, that, uh, a series of uh, the, the movies, world cinema, in the year 1970. I think that was a really watershed year. I've also been working on a book on the, on the Spaghetti Western director, Sergio Corbucci, that I've been working on for a while. And then I've got a book that I've been working on that deals with uh, uh, directors Don Siegel and Robert Aldrich that I've been, it's a rock I've been moving up a hill for the last like six years. <laughs> I can't wait to read all three. I, I'm, 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 I'm really happy with them. Like I said, they, they, I, they all take a, a leapfrog for, forward every in, in between each picture. <laughs>